So debate rages and continues to rage around the building of a sports facility. I'm not going to call it a stadium, even though that's what it's being called, but it was certainly billed as a stadium. The amounts involved range between 15 million and 22 million. No absolute clarity on that. It's in the uh, rural community of Lessiton, which is in the Komani area uh, around Queenstown in Cape Town. Uh, DA leader, or not DA leader, but senior DA leader, Helen Ziller, was there yesterday and said the stand in the stadium was not a stand, but was actually scaffolding. Most of the people who've seen the site and looked at it have described it in scathing terms. But what about the people who actually live in that area and look to something like this to make a real difference in their lives? Tembile Waita is the chairperson of the development committee in Lessiton and joins us now on 702 Drive. Mr. Waita, welcome and thanks very much for your time. When you heard that there was going to be a, a, a sports facility built there, to what extent were you given details as to what you might expect? What did they tell you they were actually going to do? Good afternoon to you. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, seriously, what I would like to correct uh, on this matter, this yes. is not a, a, a political matter mm-hmm. or, a campa- or a campaigning matter. Uh, I'm Tembile Wadla, the chairperson of a, a development committee of Lesitin, the village, uh, as envisaged by the NDP or of the national government. So we are in the rural areas and we have been built a, a stadium uh, that is costing 22.7 million, mm-hmm. of which, when we look by the books, uh, it, it's not cost, it's not costing 27.7 million. It's approximately three million, and then everybody has to be accountable, including politicians or kleptocrats who stole the public money. So, Mr. Watla, when you say you've looked at the books, the the costs appear to you to be around three million. So the profit made is exorbitant. Um, How did you establish the three million rand total? Has the local government uh, set out exactly what what was spent? Uh, let me uh, start it from from scratch where it started. Yes, uh, exactly. Uh, our ward councillor, which now currently is the incubator, uh, Mr. Uh, Unachi Mlindazwe, mm-hmm. showed us uh, the picture of the of the stadium before it already started. Right. And uh, then after that, we, we the expectations of the community were raised. Right. Uh, that yeah, okay, we are going to have something uh, uh, that is better into our community. And then when the stadium was being built, or was being built, uh, nothing or on the expectation wa- was being met. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, can I make an example? Yes, please. Yes. Uh, we were expecting 400 sitting uh, participants of viewers on the stadium. Right. Uh, who were sitting on the stands. It's 200. Mm-hmm. On the on the palisade, there was uh, there was supposed to be a cement that is surrounding the whole stadium. Nothing of that has happened. Uh, or on the track where uh, the, uh, the runners are supposed to run, uh, there was supposed to be a, a rubber. Oh, it's not there. An artificial uh, track, on, eh? On the, yes, on the field, there there was supposed to be uh, supposed to be. A, a, a better grass, nothing of that is there. Uh, the electric fence was supposed to be there. The borehole was supposed to be there. Uh, the electricity was supposed to be there. And then what was the rush for to open the stadium? Yes. Well, there's an election coming, that might be. But let's come back to what you've been saying, Mr. Watler. If you as a development committee are responsible for uh, sharing community views on what needs to be done in your community, if they'd said to you, we have 22 million rand, how high up your list of priorities would a sports field have been? Would you have said uh, it's very important, not so important, not important at all? What would you have said? Okay. Uh, let, 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 let me take a... a, a a construction cap now. 
Yes. Uh, NSMEs of Njovukazi or any government institution, we are supposed to get a 30% but the, we, we get a 30% when the project is approximately uh, uh, 30 million. Mm-hmm. But on this project, the SMMEs were supposed to get 600,000 on their benefit. Right. But it was less than even a hundred thousand. Right. So, which means uh, the one who came with a wheelbarrow will, will go out with a spade just because that wheelbarrow was wasted and yes. then uh, he is off. And then there was no growth. But they, they intended a, a, a thing for, 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 for this was a community upliftment. Right. But no, but no yes. benefits to to local local business. Last question for you, Mr. Whitler. I mean, it's a grass field, but my understanding from things I've read is that there's a massive shortage of water in the area. Uh, it, even if they had put in good-looking grass, uh, it sounds to me like it would never have survived. Well, uh, the uh, the place or the area that is the the stadium is situated, it's, it's called Eko Pumleni. Right. Eko Pumleni has 20 years scarcity of water. Joyce Kral, uh, Ngojini, Kwatabata, and Kombe area. We have scarcity of water, and there have been numerous projects that have been being done here right. by our government. But up until today, they are white elephants. Thank you very much, Tembile, Tembile Watla, chairperson of the Development Committee in Lessie Town. It makes for grim listening, I have to say. In his estimation, $22.7 million spent, the value that they've managed to establish, some 19 million rand less than that. Uh, and equally alarming, he's saying that local benefits in terms of economic opportunities, totaling 100,000 rand for local entrepreneurs. News. Experts. Analysis. Where things stand. What you need to know. Drive home with John Pullman. On 702.